When we sing sophisticated hula, it's tough the town. You know, we really need that. It, it's for real. Swing your partner around. Swing your partner around. Sophisticated hula, it's the top of the in life does anybody get to do that you know now we all have group activities I mean you can go join a chain gang <laughs> but there's something about choral music and the energy that comes out from you now you can go blow a horn and it's almost the same thing but in the in singing you are the instrument it just it comes from here and you take what you get, you know? Um, and in choral music, everybody can bring their little bit together. And the result, the um, uh, sum is much greater than the sum. The result is much greater than the sum of its parts. Uh, uh, you don't have to have great breath control because all together, we can do the entire phrase. Just take breaths wherever you have to. You don't have to have the best voice in the world. You don't even have to have a great voice, or even a good voice. In cooperation with the others, your voice begins, it creates a larger voice, a voice that, that you've always wanted to. And so the person next to you maybe can sing pretty well and you sing along with them and it's like, whoa, you, you think you're sounding great. Well, you are, you are. And isn't that what really being a human being is supposed to be? That not that why most of us aren't hermits? It's because we really do need this interaction, this kind of um, oh, benign control, you know, where for a space of three and a half minutes, we do this together. That's why I enjoy uh, directing because it influences so many people's lives. And it gets you off of the diva, um, uh, you know, platform, uh, pedestal. Um, uh, it's the group that becomes uh, the, the important thing. The places we go to really appreciate what we have to share. And you know how it is about anything we do, especially here in Hawaii, you can tell when it's in, in turning in and when it's giving out. You also can tell when the person does it to make all the arrows point at them. And you can tell when they, when they mean the arrows to point out to the people. Yeah. So none of us are doing this to show off, so we're not doing it to the arrows to point at us, please. But really, really sing it out this way. With my music background, it used to be that I wanted, uh, when we did a performance, uh, this is not for Gleeman Plus, of course, this was when my wife and I would perform. Everything had to be perfect so that the audience would know that we really did know our stuff and we would gain respect. Well, <clears throat> maybe that's, I, I'm sure that's still important and I would like to think that when the Gleeman Plus of Honolulu perform, that we do gain respect from our musicianship, but we're all working at that. Uh, most of our people have not had any kind of uh, formal music background, not, no band, not even um, school choruses, uh, no piano. Um, they're just learning uh, on the job, so to speak. Uh, most of our people don't know how to read music. Uh, they love the effects, but they don't know how to do it themselves. 
and, and, and that's what we uh, we rehearse. But when it comes down to the final analysis, it's not so much how great the songs are or how well we perform them. It's not how loud or how soft or how high or how low or how controlled uh, your singing, our, our singing is. What it is, is that all together we create an effect of joy, of goodness, of happiness. And the audience, while they're listening to us, while they're watching us, in spite of themselves, becomes inspired and um, overcome by by this, uh, by all of this, uh, and, and, and by this joy. criterion I use to select music is, uh, and this may, other directors may disagree with this, but first of all, it has to do something to a person's emotion. It has to grab you. Um, the arrangement, the words, the, 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 the melody, the harmonies have to catch you a little bit. Um, even if it's, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, it has to go, it has to make me go, it has to be engaging. It has to engage my mind, my heart. It has to. So therefore, it has to have some. It has to have truth. Um, it has to be real. It has to be singable. Um, it has to make sense and has to be easily accessible. I don't mean it has to be an easy song. I mean people have to be able to sing it uh, without too much trouble, and then also be able to receive it without having to have a college education. <laughs> uh, it has to be things that, in, uh, songs that engage, that inspire, that um, uh, lift up. Um, and there are all kinds of great American songs, Hawaiian songs, Broadway songs, patriotic songs, ethnic songs that do all of that, so. Mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm. Make a big noise inside of your head. All right. That's why we have so many empty spaces, ladies. <laughs> so we can resonate. Ready? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> and flowers. 